funny thing happened on the way to Whiteholm Castle. My army simply doubled. People from all over decided to join my army and help me stop Glenbrook's invasion. My barkeep, my blacksmith, and both the local merchants immediately rallied to my cause. Hell, one of them used to be in the Saintly Seven and fought in the Salt Iron War. Who knew I had a veteran in my camp? I didn't. As for the others, well, I got a secretary, a wizard, an apothecary, and an acrobat. I did go boss for a living. From what I saw, there was nothing but raw talent in them. Which is why I decided to enact Operation Trial by Fire. The only way to see how well these folks performed on my team was to throw them straight into the fray. Hey, what about me? Sorry, Piccoletta. The party's full. We'll have to try you out later, though. My father is in danger! Pay off though no mind! We make our way through the- Kill anyone you see wearing magenta armor! Show we need business, boys! I'm happy to say they all passed with flying colors. With the Frosty soldiers gone, there was nothing standing between me and my brother-in-law. Gustadoff, I don't know what your malfunction is, but I'm here to fix it. Permanently. Well, well, if it isn't my dear Frederica and my new brother-in-law. Brother, why are you doing this? Haven't you heard? The King of Glenbrook ordered the assassination of my dear cousin Dragan in hopes of taking the resources of the mine for himself. Actually, it was several as frosty soldiers who did him in, probably under your orders. We have witnesses to corroborate the story. Do you now? Well, let me offer you some evidence of my own. Aurora, if you please. Yes, my lord. Hold it! This is not only most irregular, but highly illegal as well. I demand that you put down your swords at once and- Oh, <laughs> oh no! Prince Franny's been slain. Whatever shall we do, yada yada yada. Sir Maxwell, take Roland to safety at once! Um, that won't be necessary. Let's just finish this here and now. No, no, I assure you, it's much too late for me. You have to save yourselves now. We just paved a trail of blood on the way here. A few more frosty soldiers isn't gonna make much of a diff- Oh, god damn it. Don't worry, sir. Maxwell will secure a boat for us to escape in. It's the only way to dodge pursuit. And so we waited. And waited. And waited. And eventually, Sir Maxwell arrived. And so did the Isfrosty soldiers. We ended up carving another trail of Isfrosty blood in our wake. Honorable mention goes to Piccoletta, by the way. It's a decoy! Kill it! Time flies when you're having fun. And with all the fun we've been having, it gave our escape boat just enough time to arrive. Of course, it also gave Avlora time to arrive, too. And as much as we want to say and play things out, that boat had our name on it, and we needed to be on it, come hell or high water. Maxwell had different ideas. He was going to go for round two with Avalora while we made our escape. You were this realm's fiercest warrior, John Spear. But today your sun sets, and a new age begins! It went about as well as you'd expect. We took a swift journey down the river back to Castle Woolfort, but there was a lot of activity going on outside of our little adventure. My fellow countrymen, you may have heard rumors that I sabotaged the mining efforts, stole the riches from the mine, broke the peace treaty, and even arranged for Dragan to be killed. Well, all I have to say on the matter is, it's all true. There I said it. Now will you let me go? Of course I'll let you go. FOREVER! For one thing, Gustadoff had our king publicly executed, and with no crown prince Franny, that left Roland as our next king. Thing was, Roland was not exactly in a position to rule, not with my brother-in-law running the country. With your father dead and your brothers out of the way, that just leaves you to rule over Glenbrook, Cordelia. 
But before we groom you to rule a kingdom, let me ask you a question. Do you know what foreplay is? Um, no, not really. Good. Neither do I. Fortunately, Glenbrook wasn't without his safeguards. Three high houses served as bannermen for the king, House Woolfort being one of them, House Fox and House Tellior being the other two. Hell, I'm sure word even got to High's end about this mess that we were in now. Well, skin me alive and call me an alligator. Looks, I say, looks like S-Frost couldn't stand for two days without causing a goddamn ruckus. True. S-Frost is only causing this ruckus with Glenbrook, so... Should we do something? We should do something! Should we do something? We should do something! Should we do something? We should do something! We also found a shaman who was able to summon rain. The sun is a cruel mistress. Let me flood the land with nutritious rain! We put her in our party immediately. And then there was the issue with my dad. What? Race Ross is attacking Whiteholm Castle? I won't stand for it! As long as I stand here breathing, they will never- <coughs> Don't worry, sir. He's just sleeping. I know, Benedict. I know. And as one last extra dash of salt in the wound, I learned a rather terrifying lesson that my father taught me as a kid. Your house is not home base. I got a message from your brother-in-law. He says that if we don't turn in Prince Roland, he's going to bring down the mighty hammer of Asfrost on our doorstep, with General Avlora doing the swinging. Well, shit. I guess we have no choice in the matter. Or do we? Benedict! Time to break out the scales of conviction! Right away, my lord.